All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends, and good morning for those who they are listening to us from Indonesia. And that's why actually I made it this time, so we can have them with us. Uh, before we start, you know, always I receive messages from YouTube. I don't know what this message is about. You know, like they are saying I'm using contact of somebody else. I mean, th I think those guys they think it's not. This is not a Christian prince. It's the opposite. It's everyone is using my contact. <laughs> My, my, this is me <laughs> isn't it funny I mean I don't have, have a single video in my channel is not mine and yet they send me I'm using somebody else's video you believe it anyway <clears throat> our topic today about Ustad Abdul Samad now I have a question before we start guys uh, when I searched for uh, Abdul Samad I found the word Salib at the end is that his last name? Is that his last name, Abdul Samad Salib? Please let me know if this is the, the correct name. Uh, because there is something funny about that. Is his last name is Salib? Which is written like this. Because when I search for his name, I find such a word appear after this Salib no so this is a different person this is a different person Abdul Salam as Samad Salib somebody give me a full sentence is his last name Salib I know Salib mean a cross no so his last name is not Salib, so it's obviously somebody else. Because I searched for Abdul Samad, I found Abdul Samad Salib. I don't know who's that. Uh, so I don't know. It was going to be funny because his last name is a cross. <laughs> anyway, so today our topic is about this guy saying that, uh, you know, it's haram to play uh, a chess. And, you know, uh, you see, I made the title of the, my video, uh, Abdul Samad, The Wisdom of the Fool. Chess and Dice a game or haram all right now you see <clears throat> everything should have a reason everything should have a reason so if we ask ourselves what is the reason to make those things bad any kind of uh, games if the purpose of it is like uh, gambling it's bad yes but if it is about you know growing your skills and your intelligence then it is it's a it's a very good thing you know which one you prefer your son enjoying his time or you are in old age or whatever enjoying your time playing a chess or uh, taking drugs playing chess or this kind of games are very civil and very human and very elegant and very smart it increases your skill it relaxes you it gives you opportunity to take the rust away from your brain and to be a smart person so how in the world such a thing can be forbidden what is what is the purpose of this right how this is can be Forbidden. How this is can be haram, as the, the word haram in Arabic means forbidden. It's uh, like uh, it's 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 forbidden by God. Why why God want to forbid that? The logic of Muslims is that you know you should not waste your time by this. You should waste your time doing something else, like what reading Quran. But don't you see this is hypocrisy? I mean, a human being, according to the Quran. He was created for one purpose. If we go in the Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad, we will find the following. That Allah, he created the man and the genie, which is funny, that we are listed together. <clears throat> for one purpose, is just to worship. Just to worship, no other purpose. 
And because they are made for one purpose, which is just to worship Allah, therefore the logic is, you as a human being, you are allowed to eat, to go to the bathroom, to have sex, and to worship. So in Islam, music is haram, forbidden. Drawing is forbidden. Chess is forbidden. Actually, TV is forbidden. Movies are forbidden. Songs, for sure, forbidden, because the music is forbidden. So what we live for? You just eat and have sex and pray to Allah. You see? The verse in the front of you, this is chapter 51, verse number 56. Allah, he created the man for one purpose, which is to worship, and same as for the genie. Right? So, here you ask yourself, how Islam can be from God? Because why does God, he don't want us to be happy? I mean, we will, so, so we wake up in the morning, we take our breakfast. Actually, before we take our breakfast, we have to go and do what we do. And then we have to pray to Allah. And then we, we have, uh, we have the, uh, a breakfast. And then uh, two hours after we have to do, or three hours after we have to do pray again. So what we do, I mean, what, what this life is for. And why it's against Allah. If somebody sing, I mean, there's bad songs, yes. But there's wonderful songs. What's wrong with singing? You see, the Arab before Islam, they used to be perfect in poetry, not like the stupid Quran, full of errors and mistakes, and that this God, he don't even speak Arabic. So what's wrong with those things? I mean, this is all what a human being have. If we take it from him, a human would be an animal. Is that correct? What's the difference between, a, you know, a cow and a human? Well, a human, he draw. Human he play, human he sing, human he make music, he can make sounds come from something he created, a human he can make, uh, 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 you know, uh, art. I mean, this is what makes us a human. So according to Islam, what makes you human is haram, it's forbidden. So Allah, he don't want us to be human, he wants us to be as if we are a bunch of, you know, creatures, that's animals. And that's absolutely cannot be from God. So let us go step by step. <clears throat> Just to show you that Islam is invalid. Not only it is not a religion, it is invalid cult. Even as a cult, it's cannot, it doesn't work. I saw some agriculture equipment and I said, I heard the prophet saying, there is no house in which these equipment enters except Allah will cause humiliation to enter it. So, okay, hold on. So not only chess, not only music, not only drawing, all of this is forbidden. Even farmer tools. So how we can live? Because Muhammad was a thief. And he don't want his men to be a farmer's. He want them to go attack the neighbors, take their women and bring, this is fast money, easy, go to the, do, to the bank, do bank robbery, come back home, you have the money, why do you want to do farming? Are you stupid or what? What do you want to do? You want to grow some uh, zucchini now? So Muhammad is saying that Allah will curse the one who do farming. And now you tell me how you, the whole earth will die. If the whole earth is Muslim and they practice this, and you see this is Sahih Bukhari, they cannot say this is weak and naive in this game, you know? This garbage always they come with. Anything is embarrassing, they will say to us, it is weak. Right? So, if we cannot grow fruits, if we cannot grow trees, if we cannot grow vegetables, how a human being will live? We will be eating each other? And here we notice that Muhammad is not only a fool, but he is a thief, he's a gang leader. He think about only gangs. He's not thinking about the rest. Okay, who is going to feed you as a Muslim? If, Muh if we follow Muhammad advice that, okay, now Allah will curse me if I have farming tools in my house, which means I cannot be a farmer and a Muslim at the same time. Okay, who is going to feed me? Yeah, the Jews will feed you. 
the Christians, we occupy them, we force them to pay jizya, and we don't work. We don't do farming. They do farming. Get the point? If we go to the different story, we will find Muhammad saying <clears throat> that the one who play with the nerd, the nerd is the same as, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, the, you know let me see if I can find you a picture for it. Give me a second. <clears throat> I think you know, like they call it in English, they say the dice, right? But it's a, it's a, it's not. A, I mean, it, I don't know why they call it the dice, but it's not just a dice. I mean, it's more than this. Let us see if I can get some pictures so I can show you what I'm talking about for those who they are not familiar. Um, it's a very famous Middle Eastern game and most likely it come from Persia. The Arab, they have no idea how to do this stuff. Um, yeah, like the, here, I just found you something, you know, like uh, like this one. Let us see. I will put it for you in the screen in a second. Like those, you know. So this is this is what it's called dice, you know dice. This is this is simply uh, it's a game. It's an old game, you know. It's very uh, you know uh, old men they enjoy it. Even young men. I mean, uh, for me, I don't have, I don't have any uh, uh, passionate for it, but I know what it is. So what the problem with this? What the problem if two people they are doing this? Isn't it better than gossiping, talking about others? Isn't it better than hurting others? And if a human being he have nothing to do, what he would do? Take drugs? What exactly he should do? And do really should we pray twenty four hours, seven days a day? I mean, this is hypo this, this is hypocrisy. So what the problem with Muhammad and? People being having fun. Muhammad he claimed that even if you hear the sound of a bell or a music, this is the instrument of shaitan. So if you hear a music, you should put your fingers in your in your ears. Have you ever seen a Muslim doing that? I didn't see any Muslim doing that. Obviously, no Muslim wanna follow Muhammad. When the last time you saw a Muslim hearing music and he put his fingers in his ears? Do you remember any time? Actually, all the Muslims, if you go to all Islamic countries, they have Billy dancing in the TV, they have music, listen to their phone, their ringtone. Actually, the phone is haram based on this. Muhammad he claimed. That from his people, they are going to be people who do the following. And this is Sahih Bukhari. Okay, what those people will do? The Muslims. Muhammad is predicting he's a prophet, as you know. He said that from my people, there is some will do the following. They will do illegal sexual intercourse. Yesterday, we just read for you how the imams and they agree that a man he can marry a woman with the intention of divorce so that is legal sexual intercourse you know what i mean you see the hypocrisy so muhammadi allow muta you can rent a woman for one hour or 15 minutes and then now they are practicing this which you marry a woman you lie to her you don't tell her that i want to divorce you a week after you are going in a trip somewhere 
and you don't want to spend your, uh, your your time alone so you lie to a human being <clears throat> and you marry that a human being lying to her saying to her i want to marry you but in fact in your heart you want to divorce her a week after So look at this at, at this religion. Chess is haram. It's forbidden. Music is forbidden. But marrying a human being and lying to her and using her and sleeping with her with the intention of divorce is halal. How that can be from God? Then Muhammad, he continue saying, if you wear silk, but Muhammad, he promised Muslims in heaven, you will wear silk. So how come silk in earth is forbidden? Silk in heaven is a promise. And by the way, Allah, he will, uh, he will make silk in heaven. Is he going to import the worms from there? Because the one who make the silk is worms. What's the problem? And they will be drinking alcohol, but Allah, he promised them in heaven, they will drink alcohol, alcohol and stop. There's rivers of alcohol, river of wine. And they will use a musical instrument. Look how ugly they are. They are using musical instrument. And you know the funny, Muhammad he forbid Muslims from listening to music, but he used to listen to, to listen to music. He used to have party in his home. Uh, let me try to find the hadith. You see, Muhammad claimed that the bad Muslims will do that. But do Muhammad have a musical instrument in his house? Muhammad he said that uh, the musical instrument is, uh, or let's say, uh, the music, or or the or even the bell is the musical instrument of shaitan. Let us go there. Abu Huraira reported that the apostle of Allah as saying the bill of uh, uh, is the wooden uh, wind musical instrument of shaitan. And here in front of us, there is a story from Sahih al-Bukhari, from Sahih Muslim, that how Abu Bakr, he entered the house of Muhammad and he found a bunch of girls playing music in the house of Muhammad. And those girls are slaves, by the way. The messenger of Allah came to my place, apartment, you're right. While well, there were two girls with me singing a song, hmm? and the song is about about uh, the uh, the war supposedly celebrating. He lay down in the bed and he turned away his face. Then Abu Bakr came, and he schooled me, and he said, "This is the musical instrument of the devil in the house, of the messenger of Allah." The Messenger of Allah turned forward to him. He said, leave her alone. <laughs> you see that the father of Aisha, he's practicing what, we, what he heard from Muhammad, that the musical instrument 
are haram. Yes, my friend, it's haram, but not in the house of Muhammad. In the house of Muhammad, you can have a big screen TV, you can have Billy Dancers, you can have, uh, 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 you know, you can have anything. It's haram for the Muslims, not for Muhammad. Right. Adil Ahmed. Adil Ahmed, do you want to call me, my friend? My friend? Uh, Mr. Adil Ahmed, he's calling me coward. Let us see how how uh, Adil Ahmed he uh, how brave he is. Look like he is a brave man. But uh, Adil, you know, you call me, but there is no need to call names, my friend. All right, like you are the hero, no problem. You are the brave person. I mean, everybody knows. I didn't know you anyway. But uh, there is no need to call names. All right, I will go in my Skype. <clears throat> Just for you, my friend. Okay, because I always, I you know, I, I like to debate with the brave people. Okay, Abdul, you can call me now. My Skype is open. All right. I will be happy to have you. <coughs> okay, look like we have somebody is trying to call. Let us see. Hello. 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 I mean, look how brave he is. He did not even dare to say hello. The answer, he don't dare to say hello back. Hello. What happened to Mr. Hamza? Hamza, are you okay? Okay, Hamza, I will let you go. Sorry. You are brave, very brave. I can tell. Your mom is so proud of you. Yeah, this was Hamza, actually. The guy who called himself Hamza. Hamza Ali. Maybe he's trying to get my IP, maybe, you know. You never know. It's okay. Oh, he have mic problem. Okay. He have mic problem. It's all right. I mean, the problems happen all the time. No problem, my friend. Fix your mic and I will be happy to hear you. <coughs> Any Muslim would like to call us, please be nice to... Uh, there's no need to call names. People in the chat. All right, we have Mr. Hamza is calling back. All right, Hamza. You know, if you want to use a bad language, my friend, I will ins I will insult you. Don't do that. Okay, I okay. You want to call me Christian boy? No, no, no problem. Let me ask you, what is the age of a boy? What is the age of a boy? What is the age of a boy? I'm asking you. You said on video that the Muslims uh, sacrifice millions of animals after Ramadan, mm. and they call it Eid al Adha. Can you give me any evidence that the Muslims sacrifice millions of animals after Ramadan? No, I call, I said they do Al-Adha after the Eid. Adha is sacrificing animals, and this is what you do. Don't you sacrifice animals at the end of Ramadan? Uh, no, we don't sacrifice animals. Okay, so if I show you right, if, I, if, if we search right now in Google, and we find as an example in the city of Dubai alone, they sacrifice more yeah. than 57,000 sheep at the end of Ramadan. What you would do? Do you apologize? Show me after Ramadan. Okay. Not either. I have the video where you. Said no, no, no. Okay, but I'm, I'm saying. Okay, but video. but what you what you will what you will do what you will do if we show you after Ramadan, you know what Muslims do. What you will do after that? Do you do you, do you agree that you are an ignorant? Do you agree then that you are an ignorant or not? <laughs> Uh, 
Hello? Hello, so you said you... I'm asking you, if we show you... <clears throat> if we show you that this is what you do in Ramadan, are you going to agree that you are an ignorant? Hello? If you show me that the Muslims sacrifice All right. millions of animals... Alright, this is, this is your Islamic news, here we go, it says sheep to slaughter for Ramadan. Oh, you said they sacrifice I, yes, of this, animals. Yes, they sacrifice animals. All Muslims, they end of Ramadan, they sacrifice, they do adha. So apologize for be, apologize for you, for being ignorant. I just did two, two seconds. It's in the screen. It's in the screen. This is news 24 hours. Sheep slaughter for Ramadan. How much Muslims they buy from Australia every year to slaughter from Ramadan? The ship of 57 live sheep left Australia almost two months ago to Saudi Arabia, but it was rejected because excessive number were suffering from disease. So those are 50, 57,000 sheep in one, in one boat sent to Saudi Arabia at the end of Ramadan. Shut up. So now apologize for being, uh, apologize for being ignorant. So what I said is true. You're Muslim, you sacrifice your blood at the end of Ramadan and the end of every holiday. They have two holidays. Both of them are Adha and you are an idiot. Now apologize. Boy, apologize apologize you are the boy and you you are the boy you are the boy and i get you busted yes you do adha adha mean in arabic you idiot adha do you know what adha mean adha mean sacrificing adha adha mean sacrificing do you sacrifice at the end of ramadan yes or no you said no because you said shut up and don't call me again i have no time for kids you coward it's in the front of you Hundreds of thousands, millions of sheep, they are sacrificed at the end of Ramadan. So if you are a Muslim who challenging me to prove to you or to show you how this has happened, that means you are an idiot. Because how you can be a Muslim, you do not know that every month at the end of Ramadan, they slaughter tons of thousands of animals. I will tell you why. Because you are after, after market Muslim. Crazy people. They do not know their religion. So he heard me saying Adha. You see, you see, Adha in Arabic means sacrificing. So you do Adha. You, uh, all your aid is Adha. The one you call it, the, uh, there's a one they call it by name Adha. And there's the one here, Ramadan. This is Adha too. Both of them, they are Adha because at the end of them, they do Adha. Dahiyya. And now you tell me why you are sacrificing animal at the end of Ramadan. And the funny, he's challenging me. I challenge you. And by the way, the boy is the one who mute me when we have a live debate. I hang up on you because you're, you're just a kid. You do not know your religion. But the boy is the one who called other boys. But in fact, he is the boy who don't dare to talk. The one who challenged people to debate and then he don't let them talk is the boy. And until now, we are waiting from your boy to tell us what kind of a prophet he said to a woman, suckle me. Suckle me. A prophet of God saying, suckle him. The coward, he asked the question, did you say that to the, the, the woman? Yes, I said that. I was reading your stupid prophet words. That's what I said to him. He hung up on me, the coward. It is you who is the bunch of boys. Who is next? Skype is open. We want adult. We don't want kids. I challenge you. Show me. Silence me. Show me. Here we go. It's in front of you. And by the way, anyone can go and search about slaughtering tens of thousands of sheep at the end of Ramadan. Every Muslim knows that. But obviously, you are not a Muslim. You are a potato who live in the West. You are a Muslim who go to Starbucks instead of the mosque. Where I can find you in Starbucks? Right? Now who's next? So we go back here, forget about this kid, we, we give him what he deserves. <clears throat> you say the 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 a friend, this is a Christian prince. You are talking to Christian prince. They thought they thought I made a mistake. 
because they are a bunch of kids. Now, the musical instrument of Shaitan, Mizmar, 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 which is, uh, you know, like the, this, uh, this is like a piece of wood, have holes in it, what they call it, like in, in, in English. Oh, man, I forgot the name. It's a piece of wood, you have many holes in it, and you play with it. So Muhammad, he considered that the instrument of shaitan. So how he have it in his house? How you say to people, you see in Arabic it says, Mizmaru shaitan in the Rasulullah. Like, like the flute, yeah, like the flute. Kind of, you know. Very simple piece of wood that make noise. Yeah. Mizmaru shaitan in the house of the Prophet. So the Prophet of Allah, he school us about women and why girls are in front in the house of the Prophet. I mean, is it lawful for the Prophet to watch girls singing for in the front of him and they are not his wives? Sure, it's true, you know, he can watch. Absolutely. It is haram for a Muslim man to watch women singing. But for Muhammad, it's okay. Right? For Muhammad, for sure it's okay. Do you see the hypocrisy? Now we continue. <clears throat> Muhammad, he said, angels will never enter a house have a bill in it <laughs> have you ever heard of a mad prophet like this how many of you Muslim don't have a ringtone in your phone or do you have a mute phone or you have a ringtone Mohammedan do you have a ringtone in your phone or you don't do Susu and Fufu and Lulu and Mimi they have a ringtone in their phone or they don't they do so how you pray to Allah and the angels will not enter your house? Allah is not even listening to you. Do you see? There is not a single Muslim is a Muslim. According to this, not a single Muslim is a Muslim. Hmm? The weakness of Allah appear when Allah He sent an angel to Muhammad but there was a puppy under the bed of Muhammad and the angel of Allah could not get in and now we got two things according to Muhammad will prevent any angel doesn't matter how strong he is how many wings he have because remember uh, Jibreel he have uh, 600 wings hmm? Six hundred wings Yet he could not enter a house of a little puppy. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? A weak God like this? Hmm? And by the way, uh, I just uh, <clears throat> playing chess is haram and dice is haram is that right hmm just somebody sent me a message just right now I will put it for you in the screen And please don't forget to download the video as soon as we finish, you know. Let us see. <clears throat> Just 
just give me a second i'm i'm just uh, getting something Someone sent me a picture, you will not believe it. I mean, we are talking about Allah Prophet saying that dice and chess is haram. And then what we find? What we find? Look what we will find. And all those texts, look at this. I have endless messages. All right. Look what we found, guys. Who is this playing chess? Did you notice who is in the screen playing chess? Do you see how, how much they follow Allah Prophet and te his teaching? <laughs> Did you notice how much they follow Allah teaching? Isn't it he Allah Prophet? He said that playing in the chess is the same as putting your, ha your hands in the blood of the swine. Who is the boy here? Huh? Who is the boy? So they go and they claim that they are the people who do da'wah and they are the one who will teach you about Islam and they will teach you what about right or wrong and yet those guys they never say inshallah which is a requirement for every Muslim and if you don't say that you are not a Muslim they play music they go to parties and they wear jeans have holes in it as we show we saw this Mimi with the this Al-Qaeda and here we go they are playing chess and yet they say this is you know we are the Muslim who want to teach you Islam but yet the Prophet he says that the one who play chess is the same as the one who put his hand in the blood of the swine So those Muslims, they school you. As long you are ignorant, but they themselves are ignorant because if they know what, what they are doing, they would not, I mean, if they knew that their prophet forbid them, like this guy who called me a second ago, challenging me to show him where in Ramadan they slaughter animals. I mean, if he is really new, he will not challenge me for that, right? Do you see how their ignorance is all over the place? If they knew, they will never challenge. And by the way, I encourage Lily and Mimi to play, to play chess. Maybe they, that will make them smarter. Because next time when you ask me about how you ask a woman to say to her, suckle me, I was reading your prophet, then you should ask yourself first, you idiot, how your prophet, he said to a woman, suckle him. You are finished, boy. This is what you have for me, you coward. This is what you have, potato. Now, going back to our topic. The prophet of Allah, who have the instrument of shaitan in his house. The prophet of Allah who have a puppy in his house. How the angel will get inside his house if the puppy and the musical instrument will stop angels from coming. Do you see how hypocrite he is? This is a leader of hypocrisy, the same as all of them. <clears throat> I 
By the way, drugs is not haram. Is it? Go and see what is the real business in Afghanistan. What is number one income in Afghanistan? Taliban are the real Muslims. All what they do, they grow drugs. <laughs> Pakistan, you name it. So chess is haram, drugs is halal. Marrying a woman in the intention of divorce is halal. Using her, lying to her. Imagine somebody married this uh, Lily or Mimi for a week and then he dumped them in the street. He says, I was, you know, here for a vacation. I'm here just to have fun. It is halal to, write, to lie to a woman and you marry her and then you dump her. But it's, playing a chess is a bad thing. Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> Anyone? I wish young people these days, they play chess instead of taking drugs and smoking and drinking. Right? I mean, which one you should you should encourage your children to play chess not the opposite because that will make him smart smarter wise patient i mean chess can teach you a lot of skills I'm waiting for any Muslim if there is anyone would like to uh, take a chance and feel free. We will be happy to hear you. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find this hadith in English. Give me a second here. Here we go. Do you see it? The one who played chess is the same as somebody he put his hands in the blood of a swine. This is how ugly it is for Islam. And this is Sahih. Do you see it? Doing muta is not a problem. Take a selfie. One more. All right, wonderful. Any Muslim? So, brother and sister, if you are a person who play with the Sith, I'm warning you, it's the same as putting your hand in the blood of the swine. And by the way, I can tell he is losing. Not the Muslim, by the way, the Muslim is winning. <laughs> but he's losing in the eyes of Allah. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, actually. <clears throat> Obviously, he did not know how to play. The Muslim is winning always, you know, he win. He win. Do we have any Muslim here would like to say something? So obviously, you know, this religion, the problem with those Muslims, they cannot follow up with their cult leader because their cult leader is so much to follow. This guy, he cannot keep his mouth shut. And the more, the, you know, the more he talk, the more he do crazy stuff.
Dr. Rohi challenged me many times. My friend, all the time, Dr. Rohi, he debated me. I have him. His debate is in my... Uh, it's all over, you know. We never said to him, no. When, when he changed me many times, Dr. Rohi. Each time he called me, he's welcome. He can call me right now. At least he's a nice guy, not like those idiots. So now, do you think Islam is a valid religion? Do you think even we can call it, we can call it a religion? Musical instrument haram. Drawing pictures is haram. A bill is haram. Having a dog is haram. I mean, what is halal? Doing muta is halal, brother. Renting women for sex is halal, brother. Having sexual relationship with the children is halal, brother. Having four wives in the bedroom, halal, brother. But a chest is haram. Kidnapping the neighbor's wives is halal. All right. Let us see. Look what Allah He said about drawing a picture. If you draw a picture, Allah will torture you extra torture. He will bring you in the hellfire. I heard the message of Allah saying, Every painter will go to hell. Everyone. Everyone. So why you Muslim you use a camera? This is a painter. It's just automatic one. Every painter will go to hell. And for every paint he did, he has made before, Allah will make a special torture for him. Do you see it? So what we live for? So putting a bomb in the bus is halal. Attacking airplane and kidnapping it is halal. Shouting, screaming, Allahu Akbar, dead to the infidels is halal. Spreading hate in the community is halal. Playing chess is haram. Playing a you know, like having a nice art is haram. What's wrong with art? You see, art is one of the things separate us as a human from animals. I mean, what make us a human is those things actually. Without them, we are animals. Human, he have art. Human, he have music. He create music. Human, he dance. Human, he sing. Human, he write poetry. So if those things are forbidden, even farming is forbidden. So what is left for a human being? So what Muhammad he want, he want to strip you from being a human. Because if, you know, imagine guys, if those in Indonesia, they are, Allah will torture them for having equipment of agriculture. That's mean all Indonesian will go to hell because 90% of them, they are farmers. And actually, they should be they should be blessed for being farmer. Not the, it's not it's not the opposite. I mean, farmers are the one who is feeding the earth. No, no, the Muslim the Muslim art. This is not art, really. They like they they uh, uh, they have like uh, you, you see if you look at them, what it's called Muslim art. Uh, this is why you will not see drawing of a plant or anything. It's just like lines, you know. It's just. Uh, like those who want to do art, but Islam forbid them from art, so they, they go around the, the trick. You know what I mean? So they make a trick. It says, oh, the Prophet, he says, don't make pictures of things which is created by Allah. So what we will make, we will make an art about writing, like writing Quran or writing in Arabic or writing words, you know, but not to draw in a tree. No, not to draw in a human. No. But this is a very clear evidence that Islam is an invalid cult. It's a stupid cult. Right? Actually, according to the Quran, all those Muslims who live in the West, they are not Muslims. 
isn't it in chapter 5 verse number 51 it says that those who take them as awliya awliya they are one of them Awli, what is awliya if you accept the government of the kuffar that is awliya if you accept them as a protectors that's awliya they are the protect you you know if something happened who is the police there the kuffar who is the president the kuffar who is the queen in england kuffar so you live there you are a kafir and all those who claim like this is guy his name yasser al-qadri he claimed to be a muslim but yet he paid tax in america well according to the quran you are a kafir and he whoever among you take them for a friend or protectors surely he is one of them So what a Muslim live? He cannot take anyone a human being. He is a friend. No Hindu, no Buddha, no Jewish, no Christian. So what we will live for? To hate each other? Yes, this is what Islam wants. Islam is a self-destruction cult. Destroying itself and destroying humanity. And this is why we see all Islamic countries are fighting each other. I mean, can you find a Muslim country is living in peace? The only one have peace is where America exists. Take America away, peace is gone. The only places they have peace are where did the Western, they made themselves a police on them. Take America from Iraq, from Saudi Arabia, from Emirates, from Bahrain, from Qatar, from Turkey, and you will see what will happen. They will eat each other alive. And this is the, what we are doing for the last 1400 years. Actually, even Aisha, she took an army and she killed more than 10,000, some they say 80,000 Muslims. Who is the one who killed the caliphates of the prophets? Muslims. Who is the one who killed the grandsons of the prophet? Muslims. Who is the one who killed his family? Muslims. I remember once when a, when a guy he called the TV and he said that when he was having relationship with his wife a drop of milk fell down in his mouth and he said that the prophet he ordered a woman so to, to, to give her breast to a stranger and by that he will be lawful to sit with her supposedly so is she now haram for him imagine this guy he was putting his mouth in her nipple obviously and a drop of milk came in his mouth and now he's worried his wife she became his sister and by the way suckling from a woman according to islam will not make you a brother to her you still you can marry her you can have sex with her so what the point of the stupid garbage things according to islam only suckling can be forbidden you from marrying if you do it when you are a child if a man suckle a woman an adult suckling adult that will not forbid her and him to get married. So what the point of this stupid thing? Because obviously Muhammad is a, is a crazy man. You see, when Muhammad he said to a woman, suckle him, the hadith says that Muhammad he laughed when she said, how I'm going to suckle him and he is a grown man. So he laughed enter his teeth, you know, the, the front teeth came out. This is how much he is making fun of the Muslims. Let me show you the hadith. He laughed until his teeth came out. <clears throat> Let's see where is the hadith. Uh, here we go. This is one of the hate I'm looking for. Actually, it's not the same one I want, but it's okay. It does, it does the job. The prophet said, breastfeed him. She said, how I can breastfeed him and he is a growing man. The messenger of Allah smiled and said, I know he's a growing man. <laughs> so my friend, the chest is haram, but muta is halal. Marrying women with the intention of divorce is halal. Having four women in your bedroom is halal. Having a sexual relationship with the children is halal. 
ordering adult women, your mother and your sister, to give her boobs to a stranger is halal. But chess is haram. Agriculture farming tools is haram. Music is haram. But your mother giving her boobs to the bus. You see, according to Muhammad, for a Muslim woman, because this guy, he is not from her family. So according to Islam, if a woman, she want to go in the bus, she have to suckle everyone in the bus 10 different times. Actually, there's a video in YouTube about uh, uh, an Egyptian Muslim woman. She asked, uh, uh, she asked the sheikh, those who speak Arabic from Egypt, they knew what I'm talking about. She asked the sheikh, so are you saying if I go right now, uh, right now those who they are working with me in the studio you know i have to suckle them all you said he said yes she said the engineer the electric engineer the, the decor the the, the 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 studio design the dj all of those i have to suckle them he said yes and not only that aisha she start practicing that and she ordered her sister's nieces and her sisters to suckle anyone when to enter upon her so Aisha, she have an office. Before you enter to Aisha, you have to enter upon a bunch of women. They have their breast is coming out. And you lay down and you have to suckle 10 different time in 10 different days until you are satisfied, which means it's not like just suckle and you go, no, until you cannot take it no more. And you come the second day and then you come the third day and you come the fifth day and the seventh day and the eighth day and the 10th day and then you can meet Aisha. But my friend, the chess <clears throat> is haram. What we can say? I mean, we have to face it. Chess is bad. Breastfeeding is haram, halal. It's healthy. Will keep the will keep your teeth working very good. Will make the women relax, and will make the man, uh, you know, get free milk. I mean, this is a, very, a charity. It's a charity. Everybody is happy. So if you enter the house and you are a Muslim and you find your wife, there's a guy in her lap suckling her boobs. Don't be upset. This is the order of the Prophet and she had to do it 10 times. He's the neighbor. Hmm? If your wife, she live in a floor in, in, a, in a 30 floor building, she have to suckle everybody in the building in order to go in the stairs and the elevator because she is not allowed to be alone in the elevator with them unless she suckle them. How this is can be from God? You tell me. This is the most silly, stupid cult. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and whoever load our videos in his channel. And don't forget, my friend, to join us in Instagram and in Minds and other pages we have. And we have these pages here. Quality of life will be live on it maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow or the day after. You can join us, search for Quality of Life M27 and uh, subscribe in that channel if you like to be with us. But there our topic is different, it's not about Islam. So I want to say thank you for being with us. I'm going to, I'm not really sure what to do now. I'm confused between chess or breastfeeding. Chess, breastfeeding, which one you think is better? Not really sure. Chess, breastfeeding, chess, breastfeeding. Anyone know any business, uh, any believing, any Aisha office around? She have like a bunch of girls who do breastfeeding so I can meet the boss. This is religion. If this is religion, so what is Las Vegas? If this is God, what is the pimp house? If this is God, and I challenge any Muslim to do what Muhammad said, I challenge Mimi and Lili and Fufu and Susu and Dudu, all those who go to speaker corners to do breastfeeding for adult. And he's asking me, did you say that to the sister? Suckle me. Yes, I said that. 
And she is the filthy. She said something ugly about Jesus. She said, Jesus, he played with his mother boobs. And he's a guy. That's what he said. So you're filthy. You cut and you match. You make your own tape because you are a coward. And until now, we are waiting for real Muslims who dare to debate us. All what we got, a bunch of kids. Thank you very much for being here. Don't forget to download the video. This video will stay only in my channel for a few hours, so download it before we take it down. And may the Lord bless you. And I will see you tomorrow at 3, I think 3 o'clock tomorrow in my time, p.m. So be with us, and I hope we will have a good time tomorrow together. Thank you. Christ is Lord. Islam is funny, silly, stupid, and ugly. All together in one package. Take care, my friends. Thank you. <clears throat>